Hello everyone. Today we are going to predict delivery time uh, that it takes uh, for someone to go from uh, one place to another place, right? So in one of the previous video, I took this data set and what I did with the, this was I, uh, you know, uh, calculated the complete distance that we are going to cover between uh, the restaurant and the delivery lo location right so this is something that we have already done right so if you do not have watched that video already i would urge you to do that right so uh, now uh, from this data set what we have is uh, a you know uh, column in which we have the distance calculated as well right so what is the next step the next step is actually to start the calculation uh, of time right in the form of minutes and we are going to do that right now okay so uh, uh, as you can see we already can see this uh, you know time taken in minutes right so of course it is saved from the last time and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to name the column a little bit differently and of course then we can just compare it with this as well right and that way we'll be able to see that uh, how our you know system is working right for comparison purposes okay so uh, how do we proceed the first thing that we need to do is we need to uh, develop a system in which we are going to split the data right so of course this is a machine learning video and we are going to use uh, you know train test split right so sklearn dot model selection and i have imported train test split from this so train underscore test underscore split right and after that what is the next step uh, let's do this first and uh, now that we have the train test split what is the next step the next step is to make an array from the data and that array will have you know columns such as delivery person age delivery person rating and distance right so all these of three all these three columns are available to us distance and above is delivery person age and delivery person rating right so we are going to keep all of them into account right so np dot array and in this i am going to write data and uh, let me bring in the column names so let's do that and this is our x in which we have all three of these things right so this will be the input for our machine learning algorithm right and that's why we have named it x and the second part is y right so uh, what do we want uh, to be in y sorry i did not run the above part uh, when i started this let me actually run this one by one and then get there just give me a minute so i have now imported the libraries and and now it is not giving an error okay so now that we have taken all three of these things as x what is y we would like to calculate the time and that will be our y right so let's write y is equal to np of course dot array and we are going to use the y column oh uh, sorry the time taken column in this right so np dot array and then we are going to write data and of course like always uh, we need to write two square brackets around the output columns right so time underscore taken and in minutes so i'll have that and let's run this okay so what is the next step the next step is to actually use this train test split to split the data right so uh, in every machine learning problem it's always the same concept that we write x train and x test and after that we write y train and y test right and after that we are going to write train underscore 
sorry there will be an equal to here and train underscore test underscore split and in this i am going to write x comma y comma test size is equal to 0 0.10 and random underscore state is equal to 42 okay so let's run this and now that we have uh, the split you know the next step is to actually develop the model right so we are going to develop a sequential model and basically we are going to use sequential dense and lstm layers right so let's do that the first thing is from keras dot models import sequential and after that i am going to import dense and lstm so for that i'm going to write from keras dot layers import dense comma lstm right so now we are going to make the model so model is equal to sequential of course and after that i am going to take up the lstms one by one right so the for the first lstm we need to have the uh, you know return sequences available as well why because it is the first lstm for the second one we will not have the return sequence right and the input shape will be given in the first uh, you know lstm which will be just the x train shape right and there will be no need for the uh, input shape in the second lstm so let me bring that so just like this right return sequences will be for the first one because we have to return something to the second one right and it will be false for this one and input shape will be whatever is the shape of x train for this one right uh, which is the first one okay so after doing that we are going to you know enter the dense layers so uh, i'm going to enter two dense layers the first one will be a, a dense layer for this and the second one will be a output layer right so model dot add and then i'll write dense here as well and it will have one layer right so after that we can have the model dot summary as well so let's run this let's see if this gives any error or not okay so perfect it's uh, uh, making the model perfectly right so the next step is to just compile it so let's write model dot compile and here i'm going to write the optimizer so the optimizer that i'm going to use is adam right so if you are not familiar with the optimizers i urge you to take a little bit of time and learn about them right and the error type will be mean scared error that i'm going to use so mean scared error and after that i am going to perform the fitting so model dot fit and here i am going to write x train comma y train and comma batch underscore size is equal to one and and then i am going to write epox is equal to nine right so uh, after this uh, epochs are run right we can just uh, see how much good of a prediction we have made right and uh, for that what we can do is we can just take inputs right and then uh, with the help of this model we can try to develop an output right so for that uh, let's write a little bit of code maybe nine epochs a little bit are a little bit a lot for uh, you know a video right you can go for 10 or 12 even if you want to so i'll go for two epochs of course the uh, you know results will not be as good as nine epochs so after doing that if we ever want to use it we will just write model dot predict and in this we are going to write all three of these things one by one so first one was age uh, what is the 
system of age so it is a simple integer uh, yeah it is a simple integer so let's say that the age is 21 right and what is the next part the next part is delivery person rating so delivery person rating is a float type number and it is of course uh, i think uh, between one and five so for the sake let's say that it is 4.6 and what is the last part the last part will be the distance i believe right so the distance is in the form of something like this and let's say that the distance is 11 and we will perform this uh, you know prediction after this completes so now that we have done the training let's just run this and it is giving us an error so let me bring in a small code through which we can uh, you know input all of those values right so let's run that code and age of the delivery partner let's say 21 and pre rating of previous deliveries let's say 4.6 and total distance let's say 10 and on the basis of this we will have the minutes as 22.59 right so i think it is giving us good results right you can also try it out on multiple levels as well right and see if you are also getting the best results from this so this is it this is how we can uh, you know uh, calculate the delivery time with the help of lstm so for more videos like this keep watching a sciences